Hello, Guardians, and welcome back to another episode of the Goblin Gazette. Karthus here, and today I will be showing you how to get your very own black spindle. And, as a bonus, I will be running it solo. If you're having any trouble completing this on your own, feel free to send me a message and I'll see if I can hop on and help. My gamer tag is in the description. Alright, let's get started, shall we? Before we get started, make sure you pick up some heavy and special ammo synth from the tower. Alright, so here's my build. I'll be running this as a Stormcaller. Storm Grenade, as it's very good at clearing ads. Superconductor, as it's good at taking out the ads as well. You can also take Ionic Blink. Rising Storm, to regenerate my super quicker. Transcendence, as the few extra seconds on the super can help a lot, and this heal is situational. Perpetual Charge. Once you get it going, it really builds your super quick. Additionally, I am running the Villainy with an Army of One perk to get my grenade and melee back in case I miss. I'm running Thousand Yard Stare, but any high impact sniper rifle will do. I will also be running Raze Lighter, as I've found that that works best against the Ultra at the end, but you could use any exotic or legendary sword. I'll also be using the Impossible Machines for the free landfall perk. Finally, the mission is located on the moon right next to where it says Anchor of Light. The mission is called Lost to Light, and you'll want to make sure that you up the difficulty, as that's the only way to get the Black Spindle. Alright, I think that's it. Let's get started. Alright, so I am going to work under the expectation that you know how to complete the mission up to the point where you have to take the separate door to get to the Black Spindle, which I will show you later. It's a pretty easy mission. Find the Crystal of Crota's Essence. Oryx shows up and gets all pissy. You have to run because the Taken are jerks. In order to get the Black Spindle, you cannot wipe. So if you are alone and you die, it's over unless you're a Sunsinger who can revive himself. If you are in a fire team, then you would all have to die to not be able to get the Black Spindle. So don't do that. Now if you remember, you go into the room where you have to grab the one Tomb Husk. Then the room where you have to grab the two Tomb Husk. And finally the room with the three Tomb Husks. But in this room, you're not going to worry about the Tomb Husks. You're going to run to the other side of the room where a large door opens, it's the spot where you usually go to fight Tanix. Soon, you'll see the lift, so go ahead and make your way up. Alright, so as soon as you enter the first room, the one where we fight Tanix on the catch, a timer will start on the side of your screen. Here is your priority. Lights, then adds. As soon as you enter the first room, you can use your sniper to take out the blights, or you can use your super. Once the blights are down, take out the adds. If you can't get your super back quickly, I would suggest holding on to it. You'll need it in the next room. Once the adds have been cleared, the door will unlock. In the next hallway, you'll be flanked by adds on either side. I would suggest moving to one side, taking them all out, then worrying about the other side. Once the adds have been cleared in the hallway, the door will unlock. In this room, I would highly suggest taking out the blights first with your sniper. There should be three in the room. Additionally, there are three Taken Wizards in this room that will constantly be spamming the Shadow Thrall, so I would take them out as well. There should be one on the right, one in the middle, and one on the left.
Once the ads have been cleared, the door will unlock. In the next room, you'll find some Taken Phalanx and a Taken Captain. I would suggest keeping your sword handy, as I can clear them up pretty quick. And finally, you'll have some friendly knights waiting down here to greet you. Alright, here we are, at the boss fight. Remember, your priority is blights, then adds, then we're going to worry about the boss. So make sure you take them out in that order, and you keep an eye on the timer. Once you've dealt with the blights and the adds, let's start hurting the boss. Now the next wave of adds will not spawn until the boss is down to a certain point in his health, so you should be fine to keep hurting him until then. Also, he will not stomp like most ultras, so you don't need to worry about that. And this is where those ammo scents come in handy if you're not having any luck with the ammo drops. From this point on, it's a simple rinse and repeat. Blights, adds, boss. So if you have it, take your time and don't get yourself killed. Keep in mind that you cannot complete the mission until all of the enemies in the room are dead. So that means that if you kill the boss first, you have to clean up all the adds. If you kill the adds first, that means you have to kill the boss before the timer runs out. Also, I would not advise trying to just take out the boss and worrying about the adds later. The more you damage the boss, the more adds spawn. Eventually you'll just get overrun and it'll be very difficult to complete.
Congrats, you did it. Enjoy your new black spindle. And if you're lucky enough, you'll get the Vienna Singer, which is the ship that you can get from this mission only. Well, I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If so, please subscribe. And until next time, this is Karthus of the Goblin Gazette, signing off.